ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे थे ओम ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे थे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवत व्याप्त देहाय व्योमवत व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्तये नमः दक्षिणा मूर्तये नमः सदा शिव समारंभम सदा शिव समारंभम शंकराचार्य मध्यमाम शंकराचार्य मध्यमाम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यंतम् अस्मदाचार्य पर्यंतम् वंदे गुरु परम परम् वंदे गुरु परम परम् ओम सहना बबतु ओम सहना बबतु सहनाओ गुना सहनो गुनक्तु सह वीर्यं करवाबे सह वीर्यं करवाबे तेजस्वी नावदी तमस्तु मावित विशा वहे तेजस्वी नावदी समस्तु मावी विशावहे ओम शांति 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 ही ओम शांति 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 ही ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिताम भगवता नारायणे न स्वयं ओम पासाय प्रसिद्धिसं भगवतं नारायणे न स्वयं व्यासे नग्रतिताम पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारतम् यासे नरसितां पुराणमुनिनां मध्ये महाभारसं अद्वैतां ब्रतवर्षिनिं भगवतिं अष्टादशाद्यायिनिं अद्वैतां ब्रतवर्षिनिं भगवतिं अष्टादशायायिनि अम्बत्वामनुसंधामि भगवत् इते भवत्वेशिनि अम्बत्वामनुसंधामि भगवत् इते भवत्वेशिनि यम ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्र त्रमरुतस्तुं वंदि देवयिस्तवाइ यम ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्रुत्रमरुतस्तुं वंदि देवयिस्तवाइ वेदाइ सांग पदक्रमोपनिषदाइर कायन्ति यम सामगा वैदेश काम संगवद प्रमोपनिषदे नायंतियम सामदा ध्यानावस्थित तद्गते न मनसा पश्यंति यंयोगी न ध्यानावस्थित तद्गते न मनसा पश्यंतियं योगिना यस्यांतन्न विदुसुरा सुरगणा देवायतस्मै नमः यस्यांतन्न विदुसुरा सुरगणा 
देवाय अद्वेष्टा सर्वभूता मैत्र करुण मैत्र करुण निर्मो निरहंकार निर्मो निरहंकार समुख सुख क्षमी समुख सुख क्षमी संतुष्ट सतत योगी संतुष्ट सतत योगी यतात्मा दृढ़ निश्चय यतात्मा दृढ़ निश्चय मय्यर्पित मनोबुद्धि मय्यर्पित मनोबुद्धो यो मद्भक्त समे प्रिय यो मद्भक्त समे प्रिय यस्मोजते लोक यस्मोजते लोक लोकानोजते चोकानोजते चय हर्षामर्ष भोर्वेग मे प्रिय मे प्रिय अनपेक्षुचिदक्ष अनपेक्षुचिदक्ष उदासीनो गथ उदासीनो गर्वारंभ परित्यागी सर्वारंभ परित्यागी यो मद्भक्त समे प्रिय यो मद्भक्त समे प्रिय from today we have to see we have to see this all values of second as a uh, 12th chapter it starts from 13th verse up to 19th the beautiful portion in 12th chapter advaita sarva bhuta so last time so last sunday we have seen the bhashyam before this 13th verse In Shankara Chaya, he has written the smart akshara upasakana. The smart means have you seen all types of bhakta? So we have seen five types of bhakta. One is called sakam bhakta. Next second one is called nishkam bhakta. Third one is called ekarup ishta deva bhakta. Fourth one is called vishvarup bhakta. a last one is called nirguna bhakta so among all five which one is the best so in previous verse bhagwan he says one has to start from somewhere so if they have to start then sarva karma phal tyaga is the best but bhagwan is never consider this akshar upasaka so now again bhagwan is pick up the that point and he says the smart among all five five devotees akshara upasakana shankara chaji says a people who are contemplating on akshara means nirguna one who are contemplating on a thing which is never subject to change is called akshara and these are the qualifying the people akshara upasakana and this people are samyak darshana nishthana so they are committed nishtha means they are committed in what samyak darshan a vision of oneness one who are de- totally committed on vision of oneness and shankaracharya ji always like these people are sanyasi 
but I will say people may be sannyasi or people may be jnani grahastha. So we can put here even jnani grahastha. Both are one who loves the one who reached that level or may be sannyasi or jnani grahastha like our janaka. These people have given up tyakta sarva eshanana. One who has given up three types of desire, we have seen generally people loves victim. Eshana. Eshana means desire. Three types of eshana. Vitheshana, Lokeshana and Putreshana. Vitheshana means one who has a desire of wealth. Lokeshana. One who has a desire of fame among the society and putra, one who always desire of son, mamatvam, one who has given up all three desire are called taktyakta sarva eshanana, one who has given up all three type of desire, such person may be sannyasi, such may person may be jnani gruhastha. For this people, advesta sarva bhutana, for these people, this verse starts from Advesta Sarva Bhutana. This all qualification, we can say this all gunas, virtues are Dharma Bhuta is a group of the values, Ityadi means etc. is a group of virtues, values. Sakshad Amrutattva Karana. This is the direct cause of liberation. Sakshad means direct. Amrutattva means liberation, karana means the cause. One who are endowed with such qualification, definitely such people will get moksha, liberation. Vakshya means, so this old qualification, Vakshya means, I will tell you, iti pravartate. So now, this group of these values have been begun. The best portion in 12th chapter, so in second chapter, Sthita Pragnasya, all qualification, almost same like 12th. Even in 13th chapter, now it will come Amanitva Madampitva, is also considered a value to have a Gnanam. Same way, a people who has gained that Samyak Drashti, how they behave, how they have Dealing with the situation, so all qualification have been mentioned. So first qualification, Advesta Sarva Bhutana. Second qualification, Maitraha. Third qualification, Karunaha. Fourth one is Nirvamaha. Fifth one, Nir Ahankaraha. Sixth one, Samadukha Sukaha. And last one is Kshami. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven values or qualification have been described by Bhagavan in front of Arjuna. Advesta Sarva Bhuta. And last time also I have told there is a one line. Nani Naha Lakshanani. The qualification of Gnani, Gnani Naha, Lakshanani, Sadhakasya, Sadhanani. Sadhakasya, Sadhanani. The natural traits of Gnani. One with self-knowledge, these people have natural traits like Advishta Sarva Bhutana. But one who would like to become a self-knowledge, one who would like to have self-knowledge for such person is called Sadhaka. And this becomes a means. They would like to imbibe such traits. So if we don't have these traits, we would like to imbibe. And if we have naturally these traits, so we can call it as a Gnani. So first one is called Sarva Bhutanam Advesta. This Gnani is always, he doesn't have any hatred. Dveshta means hatred. 
but one who doesn't have any hatred for all beings are called Advesta. So it, it doesn't mean if he has self-knowledge, people can be ill-treated as they people, they don't know where, who we are, whether we are Gnani or Agnani, the people look at us as a people only. So sometimes some people cheat us, sometimes they hurt us, but still we never have any type of hatred for anything are called Advesta. So I have heard one story from someone, but it says there is a one sadhu or sannyasi who was living near one village. It was a young sadhu. He was very young sadhu and was living near one village. And the bhiksha, yoga kshema of this sadhu was taken by these villagers. All village people, they used to take care of sadhu. So three times bhiksha, whatever they need, he used to give. So one day in the night, it was a dark night, Sadhu was sleeping in his kutia and he heard a voice of crying, a baby. So suddenly he got up and he, still it was the crying, he, he was able to listen and he has opened his door. So he saw there is a newborn baby was lying in the front of his door. So he said he has seen everywhere, nobody was there. He has just picked up this newborn baby and he tried to make them, you know, console. But this poor baby keep on crying. Then all villagers, people have come and having seen this newborn baby in the sadhu's hand, they, start, they have started shouting. They told this sadhu, now we know who are you. You have cheated us. You are, you know, cheater. In the, in this Vesha of Sadhu, you are not Sadhu. And they say, this is your son only. This newborn baby is, you are the father. This Sadhu, keep mom, he didn't say anything. And the villager have decided to boycott this Sadhu. So say, we won't give any bhiksha, anything to you. Sadhu still didn't speak anything. And he has to take care of newborn baby because it is with him only. So he is going another village for Viksha, whatever meal come, he tried to feed this baby. So four months have been passed. This villager stops talking with Sadhu and still Sadhu used to take care of newborn baby. Now this baby becomes four months. Again, after four months, in the night somebody has knocked this sadhu's kutia. Again, sadhu has opened the door and he, he, he saw some lady was standing in front of him. And that lady told to this sadhu, this is my baby. What you are taking care of this newborn, now it's four months, but it is my son. But out of fear, because I am unmarried and I have one affair and I cannot able to give the name of that father and unknowingly, I have given your name because everybody is taking care of you. So I have given your name. So all people have come and they would like to beat you everything. But please give me my son back. And now I have told my parents, this is my child. And my parents have accepted that boy also. So we are going to marry and we'll take care of child. Then in meantime, all villagers have come back. And again, they have told, sorry to this sadhu, we are very sorry. We should not do like this. Sadhu still didn't speak anything. He has given that baby to this lady and he blessed the lady and he just closed his door. This is called Advesta Sarvati. In spite of these people have, you know, has hurt him, is still he didn't speak any word to this people. And he never say even, I am not. I have not done everything because people are not ready to understand these people. This quality is called advesta. So, in spite of being atmagnani, people are there to hate us. People are there to cheat us. People are there to beat us. But still, this gnani have this no hatred for all beings are called advesta sarvabhutan. 
and one more thing which I have heard from what I have read Advesta means we should not be judgmental to anyone, whether good or bad. There is nothing good or bad. People are people. If we accept people as people as they are, so we don't have any ragadvesha. We don't have lies and like and dislike. And we keep on have the same compassion or love towards people are called Advesta Sarva Bhutan. So one meaning Advesta means we should have no hatred. And another, another thing, we should not be judgmental. Always we keep on judging the people. Good or bad, good or bad. But a person who has come out from good and bad, that person only should not have any type of like and dislike. And such people is called Advesta. So this is the first qualification of Gnani means Advesta. Sarva Second quality is Maitraha. Mitra, Maitraha means Mitrata. One whose disposition of mind is friendliness is called Maitraha. The quality of friendliness is called Mitrata. And to whom we can call friend. So there is a very beautiful one verse or Subhashitam is given by Bharthuhari. He is called, uh, is called Niti Shatak. Bharthuhari is written by Ragya Shatak. Shataka means 100. So he has given 100 verse on moral also. Bharthuhari is given 100 verse on dispassion also. Soundarya Lahi. Not uh, there is a, one more also, Shungar Shatak. So it's written everything, but in this Niti Shatak, there is a definition of friend to whom we can call as a friend. So this is a beautiful verse Papat Nivarayati Yojayate Hitaya Guhyan Chaguhati Munan Prakati Karoti Apat Gatam Najahati Dadati Kale San Mitra Lakshanam Idam Pravadanti Santaha. So here, this is the without Santi I have kept. So, what is the qualification of friend? So, first is Papat Nivarayati. We can call the friend one who protects a friend from committing Papa. So, this is the first sentence Papat. Nivarayati, so one who protect from Papa, committing Papa, this is the first trait of friend, Yojayate Hitaya. So this person always put this, his friend, Yojayate. So he is inspired, he impelled to this person for the benefit of the same, his friend only, Hitaya. So for best quality. Yojayate Hitaya Guhyam Ni Guhati. Guhyam means secret. Ni Guhati means concealed, hide. Generally, always people talk about the, you know, which are not good qualities of other people. They always open up with among the society or people. But friend is Ni Guhati. One who hides concealed, who hear the secret of the friend, another friend, never tell to anyone. It's called Guhyam Ni Guhati. Fourth one is called Gunan Prakati Karoti. Whatever the good virtues have this friend, Prakati Karoti, it, that person reveals the virtue of his friend in front of society. Is called Gunan Prakati Karoti. Apat Gatam Najahati. Apat Gatam means when crisis come. At that time, Najahati. One, that friend never gives up this friend. Jahati means give up. Najahati, one who doesn't give up. When Apat Gatam, when crisis arise, 
generally there is a one sentence to whom we can call our friend whenever crisis come everybody left us but one who never leaves us that is called friend so apad gatam na chahati and last one is dadati kale kale dadati means when times comes he used to help us dadati not in terms of money always maybe in terms of time so it's dadati kale when times come he gives his time he gives his wealth whatever but dadati it helps in all manners dadati kale this is called sad mitra lakshana this is the called the good traits of the friend lakshana means trait qualification of the friend in which type of sad means good friend idam means idam mitra lakshanam this qualification of good friend santaha pravadanti santaha means a good people not sadhu one is not wearing orange cloth is not like that but santaha means good people is tell like this so this is the definition of mitrata friendliness this is maitraha another is called karuna shankaracharya ji has not described much we will see the bhashyam but shankaracharya is not described too much another another trait is called karuna karuna means compassionate one who is daya one who is karuna for each and every people we can say also sarva bhutanam advesta sarva bhutanam maitraha sarva bhutanam karuna he is always compassionate to all people are called karuna so what is the qualification of karuna to whom we can karuna so also is given here karuna means compassion and i have given here there is a sensitive mind karuna means one a person is sensitive mind and capable of placing oneself in the of others so one person is in some distress we can see the pain of that distressed person we can place ourselves in the place of the distressed person and we are going through the emotion that person go through this is another name is called empathy empathy means one we can pick up the pain of others are called empathy and when we pick up the pain naturally we have developed this karuna we never try to you know to now me develop me karuna is not like that but having seen others pain one who has compassion is called empathy so i used to tell one story of ramakrishna paramahansa this ramakrishna paramahans has called has that quality to pick up the pain of others unknowingly not knowingly but unknowingly so one day ramakrishna paramahans was crossing the ganga from one bank of ganga to another bank in kolkata and at the when he was just about to sit inside the boat he heard some noise and he saw some people are beating one person and that person who who are beating he was telling please leave me alone please help me i am you know i am i have not done anything please leave me alone so he has heard this noise and he has also heard the noise of that person who says please leave me please don't me in having heard this noise ramkrishna paramahamsa has said inside the boat and that boatman has started that boat to take another bank of ganga so middle of the ganga ram krishna paramahans also has started the shouting and he says please don't beat me i have i have not done anything and that boat boatman was surprised why ram krishna paramahans is is telling like this and he has seen the back of ram krishna paramahans he has seen that red mark of this somebody has beaten ram krishna paramahans and he asked what 
what happened then ramkrishna paramahansa said i have pick up the pain of that person who who were beating this is called compassion without any reason one who is always have karuna for another person it's called empathy and why we have empathy to so bhagwan in sixth chapter has given this verse आत्मोपम्यन सर्वत्र समं पश्यति वन हु इज द विजन ऑफ वननेस समं पश्यति सर्वत्र समं पश्यति मींस वन हु इज द विजन ऑफ वननेस सो व्हेन विजन ऑफ वननेस वन हैज देन दैट पर्सन कैन सी आई एम अवेलेबल इन एवरीबॉडीज इन एवरीबॉडीज हार्ट so whatever the problem of another people another person unknowingly it picks up it is called atma aupamyena because my soul my atma is sitting in everybody's heart so whatever pain i saw in somebody's heart or somebody's mind naturally spontaneously i just picked up is called karuna and without any reason we try to help that person is called karuna compassion i heard from swami viditatmanand ji whenever pujya swami ji dayanand ji used to come in gujarat in generally when pujya swami ji came in gujarat all sanyasis were initiated by pujya swami ji used to come to have darshan of pujya swami ji and our swami viditatmanand ji has to give the introduction of pujya swami ji among this gnana yagna swami viditatmanand ji used to he says i keep on telling the same thing about pujya swami ji but it is i have to tell and he says what is the qualification of pujya swami ji he says whenever a new person come in front of pujya swami ji pujya swami ji always ask what can i do for you pujya swami ji never have that even one thought in his mind how can i take the help of this person this is the difference always pujya swami ji says how can i help you means pujya swami ji is always ready to help anyone without any reason without any reason who can help another person is called karuna so and why this karuna because this person sarvatra samam pashyati he, he or she sees herself of himself in everybody's heart that's why he pick up or she pick up the pain it's called karuna compassion and try and when that person sees another that's why i have written that person cannot withstand others pain and that person help them spontaneously this is called karuna angulimal even that our who was there valmiki was ratnakar no before valmiki he was a ratnakar who is a robber but our narada has helped him without any return same way buddha has helped angulimal without any return is called karuna this trait or qualification is called karuna one who is help without any return to everyone is called karuna nirmama another trait is called nirmama the meaning of nirmama means nirgatah mam karah yasma from him ownership has been go possessiveness ownership people ask this is my son this is my father this is my mother these are the my children this is my wife or husband this they are called mamakara but one who is given up this ownership is called nirmamaka 
So this is nirmamaha is natural for gnanis. But we would like to also become nirmamaha. Then how can we we can have how can we imbibe in such trait? So I have just written. So nirmamaha, so without any ownership in our mind, there is a no my notion. This is belongs to me. One who doesn't have this notion is called nirmamaha. And how to give up this notion? Here I have to put how to give up this notion. It is a two way. We can say one we can just give up this notion religiously. And another, we can give up with the help of Vedanta. So Vedantic way also, we can become Nirmapaha. Or with religiously also, we don't have the notion of Nirmap or Mamkara. If you remember, the base of Gita, Shankaracharya has given in Bhashyam, Aham, Esham. Aham, Esham, Mama Ete. Mama Ete. Arjuna has told to Bhagavan Lord Krishna, Aham, Esham. I belong to these people. Esham is Bhishma Drona. And Mama Ete, these all people, even in front of me, these all Kauravas are also mine only. This is called Sansara. And because of this notion, Punarapi Janana, Punarapi Marana. That's why Bhagavan says for Gnani, Nirpamaha, who doesn't have any ownership with this even family members. He doesn't have any mind notion with res with uh, respect to their own house, their own even wealth and everything. So how can we give up this notion? So I have given one idea. So religiously, in which way we can give up this notion? So one way is whatever possession we have, it is only temporary. It is not permanent. Whatever given, but we are so attached with these people. So when these people go, we cannot stand these people left. So we have to keep on telling to our mind, whatever possession we have, these all are only temporary. And this all possession, Bhagwan is given as a gift. And this whatever gift, I will use it for my growth. My growth means emotional growth. And when Bhagwan will take it back, whatever, I won't complain. Generally, we keep on complaining why this is happening to me. But Shastra says one should not complain. So whatever come in our life is only for our growth only. So I won't complain. And when Bhagwan will take it back, even I can tell to Ishwara, thank you for providing me all my relatives like father, mother, spouse, children, everything. You have just given me for my emotional growth. Nothing else. And like in Hindi, there is a one line, you know, Dana mana dana sabatera. Whatever I have, everything is belongs to you only. But this is only words on our lips. We never follow this. But if we can follow, then whatever we have, we never complain. Generally, we think, you know, always mother like son. So this is the process. Mother has son. She loves son. And she always think, let me have my son get married. And when son get married, this uh, daughter-in-law comes, then daughter-in-law always, she behaves according to her brought up. And then 
there always this mother cannot accept the behavior everything and we starts feeling like everybody is you know just the notion of nobody loves me why we have this feeling because we think son is mine but daughter in law is not mine such the feeling always give us pain that's why shastra says one should not have feeling like everything is belongs to me even this body is not belongs to us then what to talk about the other thing that's why nirmamaha we can develop this traits religiously and we can even have in vedantic way also so in vedanta generally we say this body mind sense complex is given to me but i am not body mind sense complex so if we know 100% then we can we can tell to everyone i am nitya sambandhah rahitah so really speaking i don't have any type of relationship even this body mind sense complex is doesn't belongs to me then body has the relationship with others so if body is doesn't belong to me how, how can i have relationship with others so i am always nitya sambandha rahita in this way we can develop nirmamata in our mind this gnani has spontaneously but for us we have to develop so it is called nirmamah nir ahankara it says ahankara is called ego so i have written here when we have ownership with external object is called mamakara but when we have ownership with reference to our body mind sense complex it's called ahankara ahankara means we consider i am a gross body i am a mind means i am subtle good but from whom this ego has gone this body mind sense complex is doesn't belong to me that person is called nir ahankara so at both level we should not have ownership so no ownership with external object and no ownership with gross subtle body is called nir ahankara so if we don't have we have to develop really speaking everything is sitting inside only we have to cultivate this all qualities so nir mamah nir ahankara samadukkah sukah one who remains always in same sameness goes mind when even unpleasant situation come and sometime happiness so in pleasant and unpleasant situation one whose mind remain the same is called samadukkha sukha so i always put narsi mehta's one bhajan when his wife has gone he says bhalu thayu bhangi janjar sukhe basu shri ko part the meaning is let bhagwan has taken my wife away now i can have good bhajan with of lord it is called samadukha sukha and last one is called kshami the meaning of kshami the person who is accommodative accommodative in terms of others behavior accommodative in terms of one's own you know there are some problem inside one always have ready to forgive one who is always accept all the people as they are are called kshami so one who is kshama is called kshami dhani we have heard the name the meaning of dhani a possessor of dhanam is called dhani a possessor of kshama is called kshami these all qualities accommodative one who is ready to accept people as the 
सर्वत्र स्वीकार क्षमी दिस ऑल ट्रेड्स और क्वालिफिकेशन इफ अ पर्सन हैज दिस पर्सन डेफिनेटली विल गेट लिबरेशन और मोक्षा वी विल सी इन डिटेल ऑल्सो बट वॉट शंकरा चेज रिटर्न फॉर अद्वेष्टा सर्वभूता नाम मैत्र करुण इट इज नॉट टू मच क्रिस्टिन शंकरा चेज गिवन इज भाष्यम इन श्लोका अद्वेष्टा सर्वभूता नाम वन हु डसेंट हैव हेट्रेट फॉर ऑल बिंग्स आर कॉल अद्वेष्टा नाव शंकरा चेज जी एक्सप्लेन He says, "Not Vesta, one who is not hatred to anyone, when Atmanaha dukkha hetu, one who is always the cause of the pain for oneself. Atmanaha means oneself. One who is always the cause of the pain of oneself." there are the people who knows which button if i press that person becomes you know unhappy and people use this and still if we we never feel any type of hatred for that person that's why it says atmanah or oneself dukkha hetu who is the cause of the pain abhi in spite of this na kinchit vesti even still a person Never hate, not thirsty. One who never hate anyone, not kinchit, even little bit also. There are smart people, you know. In their flowery language, they say actually these people are good. But these people are doing me like this. That's why I have problem. Even it's called not kinchit. Let them do whatever they do, but we don't have any type of hatred to anyone. is called adveshta i always used to say and this is ultimate whatever come in our life it is always good for us even somebody is always in no nowadays we are living surrounding the farms so there are many farms are available surrounding this ashram and they always they grow the crop peanut crop there are nowadays there are you know chili there are chili crops are there but whenever in field there are crop is there there are extra grass used to grow up surrounding the crop and they always take out this grass and when they have to remove this grass for the good profit of this crop so they remove the grass same way some sadhus they say a people who has some hatred for us there are like a grass they keep on telling you don't know this you don't know this so we should be happy and they are taking so if we are very punctual in this keep on telling about our they try to put down us we have to understand these are called nindaka nindaka means criticizer keep on criticize us because they criticize we can have self reflection on ourselves we can see this nindaka this criticizer whatever they are telling about me how much truth inside if you are self honest we can see still i have to remove this i have to remove and we remove this grass and if we can able to remove our negativities because of hearing this criticizer the result of crop means our mind will be healthy healthy in terms of positivity that's why we should never hate anyone whatever they tell let me there and then we have to self reflection and we have to remove whatever the negativities inside that's why he says nakinchit dveshti even little little bit also that atmagnani never hate and to whom sarvani bhutani atmatvena hi pashyati he means because 
he sees, he looks, all beings, Sarvani Bhutani, he used to see all beings, Atmatvenu. I am not separate from these beings. That's why it's called Atmatvenu. Like Ramakrishna Paramahans are seeing himself in that person, are called Atmatvenu Pashyati. That's why that person never hate anyone. Even there are many hatreders are available to hate that person. Still, na kinchit dvesti. Otherwise, if I say, if they keep on hating us, they always keep on criticize us. Still, how can I love? It is not love. We have to see ourselves. Let them do whatever they like. But still, I should not hate because I am sitting in that person also. This is called advesta. Sarva Bhutana. Second thing is Maitraha. So meaning of Maitraha, Shankaracharya Ji has written, Maitraha means the disposition of Mitra Bhavaha. Bhavaha means disposition. Mitra means friendship. One who is always ready to help others is called disposition of friendliness. Another name is called Maitri. So same friend, friendliness, another name is same, Mitra Tayavartat. So that person doesn't have any enemy. It says, for Rama, Rama looking each and every person as a friend. So when Ravana was about to die, so Mandodari went near Ravana and she was crying a lot. At that time, Rama, Ravana told to Mandodari, you please go to Rama. Rama will take care of you because Rama is a very good person. Rama never hate to anyone. Rama always help. This is called Rama is friend to everyone. It is called Maitraha. So nobody can remain away from the friendliness of that person is called Maitra. This type of disposition, if person is, and I would like to tell you, you have noticed or you have don't notice, I don't know, but in present of some person, we feel good. Like when Pujya Swami is around, we feel good. Even like Vidit Atmananji around, we feel good. And sometimes some people is are around, even we don't know the person, still we would like to go out from that person. So nowadays we call as a aura. This all quality of this Advesta Sarva Bhutanam create an aura, positive aura. And because of this aura, people are attracted to come near. And there are the aura of negativity. Having kept such negativity, people always like to away from the such person. So this qualification gives a positive aura. So metraha means a disposition of friendliness. Third one was karunaha. Karunaha eva, Shankaraja says, karunaha eva cha. It is given in shloka, but meaning of karuna Karuna is Karuna, Krupa or Daya. Where? Dukhiteshu. A people who are in distress, for such people, one who has the compassion. Krupa, Daya, sympathy, I don't like that word. Compassion is the best. Daya, you know, I forgive you, it is not a healthy word. Better is compassion. So one who has this, Tadwan. Tadwan means one who is the possessor of Karuna is called Karuna. Son who is ready to help each and every person are called Karuna. Sarva Bhuta Abhayaprada. One who is always ready to help anyone. Abhayata Prada. In the presence of this person, feel fearlessness. One who is always giver of fearless are called Abhaya Prada. And Shankaracharya ji loves sannyasi, so is given 
this person is sanyasi, but it doesn't mean only sanyasi. Sanyasi are two types. One sanyasi, one who is given up everything is called sanyasi, and another is called jnani sanyasi. One who is given up everything through one's mind is also called jnani sanyasi. Such people gives dadati, prada means dadati, one who gives abhayata, one who gives a fearless, bhaya means fear, abhayata, fearless, that person is abhaya prada. Nirmamaha, nir ahankaraha, we will see tomorrow. Any question? No question? You are muted, Umaji. Mm. I think very nice examples also. So simple topic, but very interesting, very nice. Yeah. It is Take always helpful. Yeah. Okay. So shall we do Purna Madas? Hmm? Om Purna Madaf Purna Medam Purna. Purana mudachyate, Puranasya Purana Madaya Purana Meva Vashishyate. Om Shanti 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 Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om.